goodbye room I'll miss you morning. It is day six on the PCT. I got lucky when I got out of Callahan's Lodge. I was going to do the road walk back to the trailhead, but Mama Bear, a trail angel, drove by and picked three of us hikers up and took us to the trailhead. Wow! Saved me about a mile on the road, uphill too. So, yeah, got three and a half liters of water, um, three and a half days of food, and the next stretch is all the way to Fish Lake Resort. So that's about 56, 58 miles. Gotta do it. And now I'm all by myself. Okay, day six, let's go! That's interesting. I'm on high rattlesnake alert because they're out and I read in the comments that they like to lay like in the shade and you can barely see them so I'm I have my eyes peeled on the trail. That's the kind of trail I hate because it's so overgrown and you don't really know what you're stepping into. <sighs> Talking about the friggin' snakes. a good spot in the shade to eat some food. Pretty good spot. And I made some cold coffee to enjoy the view. Life is good. Always do a 360 when you leave like a camp spot or a break spot and you do this 360 Roberto told me oh, taught me that done
Lots of bullet holes. America. So this is the section of trail where one hiker got bitten, dry bitten, by a rattlesnake three days ago. So I'm very, very, very rattlesnake aware now. <sighs> Freaking snakes. very hot today. It's in the hundreds somewhere and the next day's gonna be the same. So gotta stop at every water source, drink lots of water in between and then fill up full capacity because the water source is coming up. There's one coming up pretty soon half a mile and that's the last one for a long stretch. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna have to carry five and a half liters. That's it's a lot of weight. Mm. Pretty good camp spots here. Met a hiker named Brian today. Been leapfrogging with him all day. And the water is down there. And I'm gonna have a nice lunch break. I'm getting that snow, man. It's giving me a good excuse not to. Last water for, I don't know, 11 probably miles. So I'm gonna fill up, like I said, full capacity. Also met a hiker named Ellen today and she was having problems with her filter, like a platypus filter. We tried to back flush it or get it to work again. So then she told a story about her waking up from a little nap, having the feeling that some something is looking at her, and sure enough. It was a bobcat. So she saw a little bobcat on the trail. Well, not, I'm not, they're not that little though. So anyways, she uh, like scared it away. And while I, while I was sitting down at the lunch spot right there, I was thinking that would be a good trail name, Backflush or Bobcat. So she showed up and she accepted Bobcat. So first time of me giving somebody a trail name. Woo! So the trail was pretty good today since it's very hot. We get these exposed areas but then it dips back into the forest and it's shaded. That is good. Came down here, and look, trash can and a privy. Check that out. Ooh, let's see. Wow. Still looking for a good campsite. 
haven't found one yet. So I gotta keep moving. So I came across this nice spot. I'ma take it. This is the aftermath of a heat wave. You get a nice heat rash. Ooh. Oh well. Since I carried so much water, I filtered it already and I have about two, three liters for tomorrow. I'm treating myself tonight to spaghetti with meat sauce and delicious apple cider.